Late yesterday evening, a link popped into my news feed saying that NASA had a big announcement coming up on Monday the 28th. I checked the NASA homepage, and sure enough, NASA is prepping for an upcoming event announcing a major science finding from Mars exploration. Like so many people, my immediate response was, please let it be aliens. Or more likely, signs of some microbial life. Unfortunately, there's some pretty major indicators that the announcement will have nothing to do with life on Mars. Like... NASA explicitly saying their announcement has nothing to do with life on Mars. Instead, the announcement will probably involve water. If you're the average American, you probably remember hearing about water on Mars already, and that's because we've known there's water on Mars since about 1963 when we detected it in the Martian atmosphere. The problem is most of the water on Mars is frozen year-round in polar ice caps, so why would an announcement about water on Mars be a big deal? Well, first, let's get clear on why water is important in the first place. Anywhere that we've found liquid water on Earth, we've also found some form of life. That means life figures out a way to live in any environment that liquid water exists, no matter how hot or cold, how high the pressure or low the pressure. Basically, even environments that are so toxic they would kill humans in seconds, we find life there if there's liquid water there. So we've known that there's water on Mars for decades, but we've never seen liquid water. There's indicators that liquid water might have existed at one point from soil and geological formations that appeared to come from flowing water, but we've never seen the liquid water. So finding liquid water is a really big deal. It's like half the life equation on Mars. So what makes me think the announcement's gonna be about water? Well, take a look at the announcement page. The event will feature the Director of Planetary Science at NASA, the lead scientist for Mars Exploration Program at NASA, a graduate student and a PhD in geology, and finally a high-resolution imaging science experiment investigator. There aren't any microbiologists in that group, so announcements about life aren't especially likely. If we dig a little deeper into their work, this guy, the grad student and PhD candidate in planetary science from Georgia Tech, Luhedra Ojha has been using computer algorithms to remove distortions from photos taken of Mars' surface near the equator and has observed what looked like flowing water over a period of several months. It's not little green people and it's not even little cellular life. But flowing water is a huge indicator that Mars is the best place to look for extraterrestrial life in our solar system. 